So um, we're back and we're going to create this um, recover function that I mentioned um, a moment ago or in the last part of the video. Um, so we need to pass through two parameters. The first one's going to be the mode, the second email. So we know that the mode exists within the get um, space here. Um, and we also need to pass through the post the email address. Okay, so we're, we're taking the mode and we're actually, you know, passing this absolute value through or this value that we've uh, that we're using in the URL bar. So um, this will be equal to username and this might be equal to say alex at phbacademy.org. So once we've completed the recovery process, we want to uh, redirect the user to this page and we're going to have a success message there. And then I just exit. So let's comment this out and quickly create this success message because this is the boring part. It, you know, it's one of them, one of them things that we have to do. So up here, I'm going to say if something, uh, if this is equal to true, do this. Otherwise, and I want to do all of this otherwise, all the way down to here. So now I'm going to just select all of this and indent that there. Okay. So if um, basically here we're just going to detect whether this success thing is on the end. So if is set dollar underscore get success, if that's equal to true, and this value is empty, so if that's equal to false, then I'm just going to escape out of PHP back in, and here I'm going to say in a paragraph tag, thanks, we've emailed you. Okay, so obviously feel free to make this a lot a lot nicer. So now let's go ahead and let, type in a load of rubbish and click recover and we get our error message. Uh, let's go ahead and type a sensible email address that we know exists, click recover, um, and we're back to index.php for some reason. Uh, so let's check uh, why this might be. Oh, there we go. Uh, in, that needs to be true, sorry. So we're making sure it is empty. Uh, so let's start that again, username, type in alex at phpacademy.org, click on recover, and thanks, we've emailed you. So everything's working, the only thing we are not actually doing is actually emailing the user using this recover function that I've commented out here. So let's uncomment that, um, and let's go ahead and open up our users.php uh, function file. Now at the very top, let's start to actually create this function. So I'm going to create a function called recover, which we've just uh, seen there. Uh, the first thing we're taking is the mode, the second is the email, so we're defining which uh, parameters that we pass this. Um, so we're going to just sanitize this data because we know that it's coming from user input. Uh, in the mode isn't, well the mode isn't, but we'll sanitize it just for good practice. Um, and the email address obviously is coming from direct user input, we're not validating it against anything particularly, so we'll just sanitize it anyway. Um, also, if this function's ever used anywhere else, then it's uh, obviously good practice to sanitize. So we're sanitizing the mode there using the sanitize function that we've already created. Um, and the same with the email as well, as I said. So sanitize email. Okay, that's it. That's out of the way. Now, what we want to do now is we want to grab um, the user data for this particular user by their email address. And we need to call the user data function, which we also have in this file, and that will return as many fields from this user as we like. So we're just sort of collecting data about this user where their email address is alex at phpacademy.org or whatever they've entered. So we actually need a new function here, and we need to create a function that grabs the user ID from the user's email. Now, doing all of this and calling all these different functions isn't probably the best way to do things, because we could have sort of one big collective uh, function, or we could actually modify the user data function that we created. Let me just find it uh, here. We could modify this. See, at the moment it takes a user ID, but we don't have a user ID because we only have their email address. So we need a function to convert their email or, or grab their user ID from their email. Uh, we could modify this user data function to um, take an email address as well or instead of a user ID. Um, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do it sort of the long way around just for learning purposes. Um, but maybe make that a challenge. Uh, go ahead and modify this to take an email address or a user ID. 
Okay, so uh, we've got our recover function. What do we need to do? Create this um, user ID from email function. Now we already, if we scroll down, have a user ID from username function. So in actual fact, I'm just going to be lazy and copy and paste this down. And I'm going to change this uh, to from email. What I'm giving the function is an email. I'm sanitizing the email. So we're just basically modifying the data it throws out and the data it takes in. So the query is select the user ID from users, that's fine, where username equals username. Well that's not because now we're passing through an email, so where the email is equal to email and we're throwing out the user ID which is good. So we now have this function that we've essentially copied, been lazy, and we can use this up here to grab this particular data. So user data is equal to user data function which, which we've just had a look at now usually a user ID would go here um, but we don't have that so we need to um, we need to you know use this function that we've just created so I'm going to call this function within this function so user ID um, from email the email we obviously know and the fields that we want to get come after. So I'm going to grab the first name just so I can address the user in the email that we're sending to them. And obviously we need to grab their username because that's what we are giving the user uh, in, in this recovery process. Okay, so now we need to determine uh, the mode that has been passed through to this function. And that's relatively easy just with an if statement. So we can just say if something, otherwise if something else, do this. So the first thing to check is obviously if the mode is equal to username, recover username. Otherwise, if the mode is equal to password, recover password. Simple. We've got the user data here. We can go ahead and even modify this to, you know, uh, oh no, we couldn't, obviously couldn't bring the password in there. Um, but anyway, we're going to focus on the username one here. So what do we want to do? Well, all we really want to do here is send an email to the user. Uh, we have an email function that we created earlier in the series, and this just makes it easier and, and avoids us having to add headers to every mail function that we call uh, PHP's built-in mail function. So the email address that we're sending to is email. Um, the uh, subject is going to be your username, and the body is going to be slightly uh, trickier. Uh, not that much trickier. So I'm going to say hello x, which will be the first name. I'll go a couple of lines down and I'll say your username is, and then I'll give them their username. And then I'll go a couple of lines down and then I'll just sign it off. So I'll just say PHP Academy, for example. So we need to replace these variables here. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to escape out of this string and I'm going to concatenate on user data which remember is this here, and this user data uh, function returns an array. Let me just line these up a bit. Um, so we want to grab the first name, oops, the first name, to address the user, hello so-and-so. So your username is, again, we'll go ahead and just escape out here. And this time we are giving them their username, so user data, username. Perfect, that's it. That's all we need to do to recover a user's um, email address, uh, sorry, username from their email address. So let's go ahead and test this out. I have got a um, my uh, email address here open, which is billy at phpacademy.org. It's got the two activate account emails that we used from earlier. Um, but this time I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to recover uh, this user's username. So I'm going to type in billy at phpacademy.org. Uh, click on recover, uh, wait a couple of seconds just while the uh, the email goes through and it says thanks we've emailed you, perfect, let's go check our email, click on inbox and we should have an email through with your username which is the subject that we gave it, let's just double click on that and there we go. So the email address now says hello Billy which we've extracted from uh, our database using the email converted to a user ID passed through to our user data function and it gives us uh, the username as well and it's essentially as we expected it to perform. Um, so that is how to recover the user's username by their email address. Uh, in the next part of the chunk of this series we're going to look at recovering the user's password.